On we go. Oh, there's three choices in this one. We made it. The second question appears to have three possible answers, though. Let's find out what we're dealing with this time. Hmm. I did it! So who wants to chat? Nothing up on the bookshelves or anything? Oh, I need to first interact with the thing. I was like, why does no one want to chat? You know? Good to see you again. Here's the second question. You have a personal dream that you really, really want to make come true. You've worked so hard to achieve it, but it's just not coming to fruition. It's causing you a lot of grief, but if you were to give up now, all your hard work is sure to be for nothing. What, what would you do in this situation? Which would you do in this situation? A. Give up the hard work. B. Do whatever it takes. C. Give up for a new dream. Please be honest about your feelings as you consider the answer. Or your answer. Thank you. Hmm. hmm. We don't know enough to make a decision. We should gather information. All right. Let's go around and talk to these folks like we did last time. So I shouldn't be picking what I think Maruki would pick. Just whatever. Probably what's the most self-serving I should pick each time or something. I don't know. What can I help you with? Curious about your answer. You think C there? A new, uh, a new passion, new goal. People here are pretty chatty, aren't they? Not that I mind, of course. But the question. Suppose I'm going with A. Keep up the hard work. Um, Does that mean you have a dream already? Yeah, I guess you could say so. Probably wouldn't be interested in hearing all that, though. Hmm. C probably for self-defeating? Um, I'm a musician, but I'm still at the point where I can only play out on the street. I work a part-time job so I can afford lessons. My spare time, I'm always recording demos or practicing. Whenever I come up with something I like, I send it out for potential auditions. Despite all that, I'm just not getting anywhere. Maybe I don't really have the knack for it. No. But, but, working hard towards your dream is healthy. You're right, thank you. I was just being hard on myself for a moment there. When I come home from work and lie down in my bed by myself, I just get so worried. <laughs> no kito, Kuzma. And things are going badly. I start to break down and ask myself, how much longer can I do this? But all I can do is believe in my ability. I love music so much, and I have no intention of quitting. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I hope you make it big soon. But yeah. Um, uh, there's spoiler things? Um, can't believe I just admitted all that to complete strangers. Alright, well. On to the next one here. Oh, don't you guys look crazy? Are you cosplayers or something? Those look like they were- they took forever to make. It's just so awesome. Will you drop in on my stream sometime, huh? What do you say? Yeah. What the heck is with this guy? He's so pushy. Just tell him. <laughs> what stream? Oh, interesting, are you? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, I should start at the beginning so everything makes sense. He's babbling about himself. Whoops. You just had to ask, Joker. So he's one of those, uh, <laughs> douche tubers that's just really annoying, huh? If you want to find more about me, just tell me your answer. Oh, uh, then I'll do just that. <laughs> So I know it's probably not the answer for everyone, but I'm gonna choose B, do whatever it takes. I started streaming so I could strike it rich. That's not the reason I started streaming, just to, just to put it out there. <laughs> Without streaming's blowing up, if this goes well for me, I'd really be swimming in it, you know what I mean? Like, if you start streaming to become rich, you're so dumb, you know? Like, there are definitely some people who have hit it big and make so, so much money. But the odds of being able to do so are like winning the lottery, you know? Like, if you want to gamble on that, just go buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> you know? You're, uh... If you're the freaking best gamer in the world, you're probably not gonna, you know, immediately shoot to... Or I guess not immediately, even after, like, the time that you put into it. Shoot up to, you know, the great success that people at the top have there. Like, it's just not happening. You know, you need to have a lot of luck. You need to have a lot of talent. You need a lot of things to work out for you. And a lot of those factors aren't always under your control. You know, you, uh, so energetic guy here, I'd say is a little bit of a goofball. And whenever I'm talking to anybody that wants to get into content creation and is asking me for advice, I always say, like, if you're planning on doing it because you're planning on, like, trying to make it big or make something out of it, don't. If you want to do it, do it as a hobby, you know? And then if something comes of it, something comes of it. That's that's the way that you should handle it. You know, but hello, hello, Chaos. How's it going today? But yeah, or just buy stock lottery ticket or just IRS magic system. Yeah, do whatever the heck if you really want to gamble there. Hmm. So you're doing it for the money. Also, I feel like someone that gets into something like streaming that, you know, is clearly just in it for the money is 
especially unlikely to get anywhere. I hate it when people that are like really, really small creators will just, you know, spam things like donation ghouls. And man, if everyone, uh, everyone, you know, gives me money, I'll do this thing. You know, if someone's actually, you know, desperate for something where it's like, I, I need money to pay for surgery, any donations are greatly appreciated. Then it's like, hey, you know, that might make sense and might be doing it a uh, desperation there. But, you know, if somebody's doing that, being like, oh, let's, uh, let's have, you know, a donation goal on stream for something like buying me a new monitor so I can enjoy playing games a little bit more. No, <laughs> you, uh, don't donate to creators that do that. That's no. I honestly feel like if, uh, if someone wants to run a donation goal on their channel for, uh, you know, their own use, it should either be one out of necessity, like there's something big in their life that they need to change and they're looking for help. Um, or two, it should be something that drastically improves the stream. Like maybe somebody is really enjoying the stream and they see that if they, you know, donate to this donation goal, the creator might be able to be able to afford a capture card and be able to stream console games or something like that or the equipment they need like a good microphone to take their content to the next level to improve the content give the viewers something back that reflects in what they're watching that isn't just purely self-serving but if you have a donation goal of something that only affects you like a new monitor to stream on that only you see just so that your own experience can be better no that's so dumb you know so yeah i uh so uh, during times that I browse around trying to find like new streamers to tune into, I don't do that as much anymore with how busy I am. But when I used to do that, if I'm tuning, like choosing different small streamers, like clicking on streams to tune into, and I see donation goals for things that are just like useless bullshit, um, I just click off immediately and I go to another stream. You know, is the, uh, is the way that I go. But yeah, let's see here. But yeah, why you stop making stuff for your channel? Kind of lost interest in making the game that you're doing now as your new hobby. Yeah, it's good to have hobbies to get into and stuff that can, you know, that you can be passionate about. You know, for a great many years, this channel was the thing that I was most passionate about. Nowadays, like, it's balanced across, like, a whole lot of things. Like, working on my truck, spending time with family, you know, stuff like that. Where I'm striking a lot more of a balance to life nowadays. And I, as I was discussing earlier the stream, I can't really go as ham on games around here anymore. Because I'm, you know, focusing on other things that I'm passionate about you know it uh means a lot to me spending time with my family being good role model for my cousin's kiddos and stuff like that there um doing projects like getting a truck that's over 70 years old on the road after it hasn't had attention like proper attention for about 40-ish years i got a brief span of attention about 20 years ago but not super long so basically 40 years altogether of not really getting much attention and I'm finally getting it on the road and it's like hey I can look at that and be proud of that and be like look at all that work that we did there you know get uh get such an antique back on the road again but yeah oh, let's see here spending so much money on getting it put together don't even know if you want to sell the game for a price yeah I'm sure that you know that kind of stuff can add up and get expensive all right and they're gonna have updates to Nintendo Switch Online members oh yeah the uh it was mentioned there, I think Morris was mentioning it earlier for uh, Blazing Blade, one of the ones that's on the schedule. So I'm definitely not beating it before it, uh, I'm not even done with Engage yet, so I'm definitely not ble beating Blazing Blade before that happens, but, oh well. I'll do it down the line, but just not on my Switch, don't tell Nintendo. But yeah, should be something put on Patreon, if anything, not on the stream. Yeah, if someone is just purely, you know, getting funds to put into their own pocket, you know, from, you know, people's generosity, make it something like, well, even something like Patreon, I feel like you should still, if it's not necessity, it should try, you should try to put it into the channel in some way, you know, it should in some way help support the content that, you know, people are tuning into, whether that's actually something directly on the channel, like editing, buying games, doing whatever the heck, or even because someone needs to pay their bills so that they can keep making content, you know, either way, something like that. But, you know, probably shouldn't be on, you know, random other thing or bobs there. I will admit, like, I've used a little smidge of my stream funds before on, uh, <laughs> on some truck parts. Because that can, uh, that can add up. But come on, that's cool, right? now. I don't know. Um, I also figured that paying for Guzma's plane ticket here could come out of the, uh, stream account. Because, like, hey, that's for content. In August, we're gonna be here side by side and, you know, playing a bunch of video games probably having a bit of a wacky time. I'll have to think about some good multiplayer games to play, probably things like Mario Party. Like, come on, that that's into the stream there, you know? But yeah, so there's that. So Patreon, the people who are patrons get something in return for most of the time, yeah. Could well, uh, could well be the case. Like, give them some perks and rewards. 
depends on what it is there. So, you know, there's that. But hadn't been as easy as I hoped. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Posted videos every day. My view count never went anywhere. I post videos every day too. Those daily videos that I put up, if I just did that, there's no chance my channel will go anywhere. If you are serious about trying to make something of it, then post less higher quality content, like video essays, like I've done there. Like if I was fully serious about just pumping up my numbers as much as I as much as I could, getting as many views, subs, and money out of it as I possibly could, then I would just quit doing playthroughs and do completely video essays, you know. But, you know, views, subs, money is not my highest priority. My highest priority is doing what I'm passionate about. So I don't. Post videos every day about my view count never went anywhere. But then I found the mother load. There was a video someone uploaded where he just bashed on this celebrity so bad it was ruthless. Oh no, I see where this is going. And his view count was through the roof. That's when I knew what I had to do to make it. Oh no. <laughs> mm. I mean, I make video essays criticizing Pokemon, but I feel like what this guy's referring to here is people that make videos that's just purely you know, man, everything is awful. Everything sucks. Look how awful this specific person is and pointing fingers and stuff like that. Whereas my video essays are more of like, hey, there's a lot of crappy stuff here. Let's analyze why. There's some good things here. Let's analyze as well. Let's analyze why the positive things. What are some changes that the game could make to like improve its overall quality? You know, I would, uh, I would like to think that I'm not like this, right? <laughs> I like to believe that these are very different worlds. Um, is the next wave of Mario Kart coming? Good question. That'd be a fun one to play at Frag. Um, but yeah, mine was still technically yours because it gave it all to you. It depends on like what we decide, like what was used for what. Because the things that you've given me over the years has probably all been spent there. Unless you want to count as like I spent other money that was made from other things and what's in the account was spent on that ticket. I don't know. Um, you know, a lot of what you freaking gave in your generosity probably went towards the uh, RTX 3070 that's currently streaming in my uh, desktop right now. You know, so there's a there's that. But yeah, <laughs> voice be heard, man, preached. <laughs> my day's pretty alrighty. I just went over to do a little bit more work on my truck. I figured out what's wrong with my fuel gauge. I think I broke my panel light and I don't know how to fix it. So that's great news there. But bit by bit, I'm uh, learning a bit more about vehicles and getting it fixed up. And I was hoping to have it properly on the road, like legally this month. I don't think it's happening this month. It's probably going to be early next month or maybe even mid next month, next month. But by the time that Guzman nerd is here, my truck will be on the road. I can give you a ride. <laughs> Then on, I switch over to solely posting bash vids. Lo and behold, my view count started to shoot up. Mm, mm, the pain. But yeah, not gonna lie, it was a crime that your video essay Pokemon Legends Arceus 1 didn't make it to True Creed 7's annual Pokemon Award nomination. I didn't even realize that there was an annual Pokemon Award thing, Bob. I've heard of True Greed's channel before, but I didn't even realize that it was a thing. But I appreciate the kind words there. Um... I, uh, I think I see that channel comment on some of my uh, Remix or Friendos things sometimes. Um, I don't think I've ever seen uh, the name pop up on my channel before. So, don't know if they've ever even seen my videos. Uh, I switch over to Soleil posting bash vids lump. Oh, my view count started to shoot up. Oh, so he's flame baiting, saying outrageous stuff just for the attention. So, a lot of stuff you're going on about. Basically, it boils down to you talking shit about other people for money, yeah? <laughs> you really nailed it there. People hate on me night and day in the comments. And point me out on the street now. But I'm not doing anything illegal or anything. That's better than what I could have ended up in. I walked away from my job because the stress was killing me. But then I became a real burden to my parents for a while. But if I'm a famous streamer, I can make enough to survive and pay my parents back, right? Right? Mm. I don't know how I should feel about all this. I don't know how I should feel about all this. You spread negativity, but it's not entirely for personal gain. <laughs> Are you guys gaining interest in me? Maybe we can come up with some kind of collab together. Cringy. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just go already. Hmm. Well, subscribe to my channel, okay? I had somebody at the uh, Tears of the Kingdom launch go around asking people to follow and subscribe to his channel. <laughs> that was a uh, thing for Bob there. Let's see here. Tales of Rise and Elden Ring, if you were the only few games that pushed your RTX to its limits. No, there have been some other ones more recently, like playing Last of Us Part 1 on PC. Um, the Nier games that we played there. Maybe not its limits, but it uh, 
you know, definitely putting it to a decent bit of work. I stream off of the 3070. I, uh, I guess I haven't checked Discord in a little while, so Guzma's notifications are appearing on my watch now. Um, <laughs> my goodness. You know, there's a decent handful of PC games there. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's how a lot of SpongeBob has said, right? But yeah, <laughs> I don't book up black and white there. I mean, that's what the hat is. So, I mean, but yeah. So there have been some other PC games that, you know, I'm able to, you know, crank up the settings on. Hmm? What do you want? Um, which one are you choosing? <laughs> Video that someone made? Yes. Does it actually matter? I'm pretty sure it won't make a difference. Well, if I have to choose, I'm going with C. Give up for a new dream. I mean, other ones apply even less to me than that one. What do you mean? Don't you want to make your dream come true? Oh, there. Hold on a sec. That's like for people who have big dreams, right? Besides, so, uh, trying hard isn't actually going to solve anything. Why wear yourselves down to nothing over some dream? Be a lot simpler to just choose an easier dream. I personally believe that pursuing something is a wonderful thing. I suppose it depends on the person. Probably, yeah. I just got tired. I just got tired of doing stuff like that. So I just quit. When it comes to streaming and content creation stuff, it's not that I get tired of it. It's that, uh, well, maybe I get a little bit tired of video editing when I'm making something seven hours long. <laughs> like that, uh, like the one video. Um, but more so that I just don't have as much time for things and I'm pursuing like other projects nowadays and, you know, therefore aren't covering as many games as I otherwise would. If I had a dream that I actually cared about, it might be different, but I don't have anything like that. Failing after trying your hardest hurts the worst. That's what it all boils down to, you know? So he's avoiding dreams that might not come true because it's easier. It's not the worst advice, but still. So considering what the answer was for the last one, it's probably C here is probably the yellow one. Are you guys taking the elevator? I'm going to go ahead. It's probably the answer here, right? Um. I think we've heard all sides of the situation. Perhaps we should gather somewhere to discuss it. Like the most defeatist one or something like that. Oh, I already linked that one. What am I doing? I haven't linked this thing though. This printed poster. All right, here's another place we can discuss. Let's discuss it out. Well, then. Let's think of our answer for the second question. What should we do, Joker? Review what we know. All right, whose story do you want to discuss? This passionate student. He's a guy who chose C, give up for a new dream. So he doesn't have any particularly big aspirations. Yes. Yeah, he said he disagreed with the other two options more than that one. He said pushing oneself to succeed isn't worth it. I suppose I understand where he's coming from, but I can't agree. He said he's going to you know, going after an easier... He said going after an easier dream is better than getting hurt by trying to succeed and failing. I guess he prefers things easy going. Hmm. Indeed. But if one lives in fear of injuries, nothing good can come to fruition. Throughout the history of art, creators face their... Yep, got it. A no vote from Fox. Moving on. I guess that's all we can get out of the answer. What are your thoughts? Um, I just want to see what people say about him. This is the guy who chose B. Do whatever it takes. He said he planned to strike it rich by uploading intentionally controversial videos on social media. Uh... I know that when it comes to making video essays on Pokemon, I know that there are people that do make videos on Pokemon that are just, you know, mindless. Everything sucks. There's nothing good here. Everything is awful. And you know, do it pretty much for rage bait to try and grow their numbers. I, uh, you know, I'm very glad to be in a position, be like, <laughs> I don't know how many people do it for like as crazy analysis as I do, but I can count myself as one of the holy few that just goes in there purely, to be honest, I never make a video with the intention of like rage baiting, being disingenuous and just, you know, trying to get reactions from people. Like the thing that I value the most is just being completely honest. He said he was doing it to help his parents, but I don't think talking shit about others is the best way to do that. Even if he's got issues to deal with, flame baiting for attention is just too crappy. Hmm. What do we think Dr. Maruki's take would be, though? It's ethically wrong, so I'm fairly certain he wouldn't approve. It doesn't just hurt others, either. It damages the psyche of the person being negative as well. Even if he claimed it's doing him good, I don't think this is the right answer. I'd be lying if I said that, you know, making the Pokemon essays hasn't damaged my psyche in any way. What with, you know, how many people hate my guts for it? Guess all we can get out of that answer. What are your thoughts? Uh, I guess we'll go through them all then. She's the one who shows A. Keep up the hard work. So she said she's going to keep trying till she makes it. Yes. yes, she said she loves music so much. She's going to keep pushing herself until she succeeds. 
I don't want to be presumptuous, but I don't think Dr. Maroki would deny someone the pursuit of their dreams. Hmm. But she isn't succeeding at her dreams, at least not to the degree she desires. As she said herself, she does worry over it a great deal. If Maroki considered that to be harming oneself. Guess that's all we can get of that answer. So it is C then. So it is that in that case. It has to be. But yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these AI kind of shit posts there. My goodness, like the AI voice stuff. Yeah, let's do this. Just mad at those facts. They're mad that you're right. What can I say though? The truth hurts. Hey, I do. Uh, I do wear the hat of End, and one of the dragons that he can uh that he can use is Reshiram, the Dragon of Truth. You know, it's not. It's not AI voice. It's people doing impressions. No, I'm talking about the voices. Just like the fact that you can like feed in voices to something to teach it, and then can replicate their voice really well. Is all I meant there. In terms of that. But yeah, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta embody End with Reshiram, the Dragon of Truth. Look, I did it. Look at that. Robin Riley's detected in query response. Please proceed to the next room. There we go. Guess we were right, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't think I can watch it right now, but if you send it to me, I can check it out after stream. But yeah, I also witnessed the exact opposite of the spectrum. Let's just say copium is too much for you. Yeah, when Sword and Shield first came out, I defended it when it first came out. You know, I was like, look at my room. Obviously, I'm a freaking mega Pokemon fan. Like, anyone who looks at my room for one second would be able to tell that, obviously. Um, I defended Sword and Shield. I, uh, I defended the Dex Cut for a while there. Um, I thought I thought Sword and Shield was kind of a good game at first. It was only after the DLC and Pokemon Home came out that I started to realize, wait a second. Hold on just a hot second here. So, yeah. There's a... There's that. And nowadays, after the various video essays I've made, I feel like pretty much any game I play, you know, I go on really critically. Like, even something that I'm super passionate about. Like, my favorite game IP nowadays is probably Xenoblade Chronicles. And I was able to go into Xenoblade Chronicles 3 being like, huh, some of these story beats don't really make the most sense. Why they do it this way? And, like, feeling like Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is probably my least favorite Xenoblade Chronicles game. It's still good. Like, it's still a good game, but it's probably my least favorite there. It wasn't the uh, super amazing masterpiece that I kind of hoped that it would be. I'm able to look at that and not just, you know, put it on a pedestal, you know? And I take pride in just being able to look at things analytically and, you know, try to my best to see it how it is nowadays rather than what I hope it to be. Oh, you too, huh? Who wants to get all serious about stuff, am I right? It's not that we agree with you. We were just trying to avoid the wrong answer. Some fans said Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was playing it too safe. That's definitely one way of looking at it. I'd say it's very complicated. Um, I mean wrong answer. There's no right or wrong answers here. Don't get so stressed over this. Those guys seem like they know what they're doing. I'd love to make a Xenoblade 3 video essay one day if I have the time, but... Uh, oh, wait, let me give you this before I go. Harder Core S! But yeah, let's see here. <laughs> Afraid by you to smash a Rush Ram any day? Rush Ram's freaking huge, though. They handed them out just a second ago, but I don't need it. Rushram's like a super massive dragon. See so you around cosplay, kids. There's a Maraki thinks people should give up on their dreams. More accurately, he thinks people shouldn't cause themselves pain in pursuit of their dreams and their pursuit of dreams. Something to that effect. This exam is likely intended to filter people who are inclined to do such a thing. At any rate, contemplating the comp completed questions is nothing but a waste of our time. So the next one's gonna be four, right? But yeah, I can't believe it just said that. And too many flashbacks. Yeah, there's quite a lot of flashbacks there. You know, it kind of does go right into the swing of things. I remember hearing the leaks for it way back where 3 was going to bring Nia back, but you had thought she would actually be a party member and then the main party would be a combination one choose party. <laughs> I mean, in the DLC, it basically was. One, two, three, four. Oh man, we got five choices this time? I can't take this shit anymore. Can we just pick a random elevator and be done with this shit? It probably would save the most time. I could probably get through the battle in not much time at all. I understand how you feel, but we can't give up before you've even tried. We need to get the lore. Come on, let's see what our question is. <laughs> Things I never thought I'd read. All right, well, let's uh, go through there. But no shame in that. Did I just see your chest? Is there, is there a thing back here? I don't know where the heck. I wouldn't shame anyone for 
Like anything like that there. Um, let's see what the next question is, Joker. I want to see what this is. Oh, yeah. I always have to interact with this thing or Bob first anyway. Welcome back yet again. Let's move on to the third question. You've gained the power to steal people's hearts. Thoughts, emotions, information. You can steal all of it from anyone in the world. Not only that, you can use this power without fear of ever getting caught. In this scenario, which sounds closest to what you would do? A. Steal something valuable. B. Never steal anything. C. Steal my own heart to heal. D. Steal evil hearts to fix society. E. Steal the one I love's heart. Please follow the previous procedure to answer the question. Thank you. What, what the? Is this a question about us? Well, obviously it's D. Let's roll. Actually, use your brain. You're not even trying. Mm. So the conditions this time are that we won't be caught. That we can only choose one use for our ability. We should bear those in mind as we consider our answer. Assuming you have a mind in the first place. Hey, bring it on, Mona. Ain't cool. No, no, no. Yeah, thanks, but uh, I don't think I was the one being insulted here. But yeah. Yeah, I used to think that Reshiram and Zekrom were like super lame because it went from things like Gen 3, the land, the sea, and the sky, Gen 4, time, space, and antimatter slash Satan, like whatever the heck, um, really cool things. And then they kind of ran out of cool things. And I was like, what? Truth and ideals? Really? So at first I kind of really didn't like it, but later on they grew on me and I really like Reshiram and Zekrom <laughs> is the case. Oh, now I can check here. I think they're pretty darn cool. One of my favorite Pokemon cards that I have on my shelf back there is one that Anima sent me. It's a full art of N riding Reshiram across the sky. It's really cool. So I keep it on my shelf there. That was a really cool Anima to send me there. That's a bunch of AI thing. So you can gang to wait, what? But yeah, and yeah, it does seem like a, you know, it's a bit of a personal question this time. Man, you all look so tense. You come here to become happy too? Um, that's about right. What would I do in this situation? I have to think about it there. I don't think it can be E, steal the one I love's heart because you you need somebody <laughs> to steal it from for that. So that one's kind of out of the question. I mean, everyone wants to be happy, right? I know I do. Um... Have you decided your answer yet? Hmm, I guess after thinking about it, I'd pick whatever would get me the most money. No, oh, stealing isn't the best behavior. We all need money no matter what, right? I mean, I guess you could also be really kind from there and then, you know, give it away and stuff if you want. I work in fashion retail. My dream is to open up my own boutique one day. It's not something I'm going to be doing without money. I know that for sure. Like, if I made a fortune, I would, you know, try to figure out what ways can I invest this to make the world a better place, you know? Yeah, I know what yin and yang are. Oh, I thought you were following up with SpongeBob AI there. Because you said, can we talk about that SpongeBob AI thing? Also yin and yang. And I was like, wait, what? There's a yin and yang thing with SpongeBob AI? I was I was confused for a hot second there. Because um, I'd never heard about that in SpongeBob before. So, so you'll choose A, steal something valuable? Mm, I'd probably do it if I was actually able and no one would find out. I mean, that's totally impossible. It's fine to fantasize about stuff like that, you know? So she would wish to fund her dream if there were no risks involved. I suppose we should consider what Dr. Maroki's stance on that would be. <laughs> so I was confused for a sec there. Oh, I meant to mention, how about about your outfits? How should I phrase this? Clothes are the biggest part of a first impression. You should probably put more consideration into yours. What? If I saw people dressed like this out on the street, I would want to go up and talk to them and be like, yo, what's the occasion? What's going on? Can I come? You know? You know, for me personally, that'd be a fantastic first impression if a bunch of people came up to me dressed like this. Like, look, this is cool. Look at him. Man, not everyone appreciates art, you know, but yeah. And yeah, I guess that's the way that'd be when you're uh, jumping between multiple topics there. Hello, are you all in here for the exam as well? Why do I keep auto-filling words that aren't there? Yes, we're going around asking about, but as I said there, Asking how others intend to answer the questions. Have you come to a decision yet? As a matter of fact, yes. I'm going to go with B. Never steal anything. Uh, are you happy right now? Hmm, well, I have a wife and daughter. We're not exactly wealthy by any definition, but we're happy as we are. If I ask for too much, I'll wind up losing something in exchange. This is probably the answer that Maruki wants then, right? I wouldn't do anything that could bring harm to my family. You must care quite a bit for them. 
Could also be just plain old cowardice. I could explain why I still haven't gotten any promotions yet. Uh... Family is important and all, but don't you want to, like, do something big with your life? Uh, maybe when I was little, but even then, I wouldn't have asked for much. I have my family, and that's good enough for me. So he cares for his family and doesn't want much else out of life besides them. It doesn't do anyone any harm, and on top of that, there aren't any big risks or dangers involved. If those are all the relevant factors, then this guy seems to be on the level. But it all depends what Maruki would think. Well, I'm gonna get going. But yeah. I hope you all find an answer you agree on. Hey, anyway, Spongebob thing is hilarious. When Plankton was introduced, one of the first clips of him was doing a rap battle against Mr. Krabs, and it was hilarious. Just for almost every clip, there's a car that crashed into the carriage, so they go flying across the map. The physics engine is a little bit crazy, or maybe not engine, but animation. Guess it depends what it's running. Mm, got some information, but not a lot compared to the last one. There are quite a few answers, so we can only figure out so much. Uh... I don't know the answer, no matter how long we talk about. Is there a way to see where these elevators go? No way. Like, this place would just less cheat the system like that. Mm. Hang on. If they're calling it an exam room, there might be some room where actual examination takes place. Ah, oh, shit. For real? Yes. That's true. Based on this room's layout, there might be a path to somewhere else. Could be worth checking out. But it could be dangerous, too. Choosing an answer without poking around any further isn't a terrible idea, either. I think it's B here. It's your pick, Joker. If we gotta fight, I'll mess him up for you. Like, the fight wouldn't take too long. You know? So yeah, I think, um, D, wait, which one is which? Is this the never steal anything one? This is A, B, C, and then yeah, the D and E are the ones that are in there a little bit more, and it doesn't look like I can talk to anyone else. I feel like it's this one, and if I'm wrong, I do a short battle and it's not a big deal. Yes. Probably, you know, what do you wanna do? even if we battle, it would probably save time over going around and searching about, you know? Probably be the faster thing anyway. Yeah, I'm feeling it's gotta be E based on his past, but I'm not sure. Hmm, maybe it was then. Tell yourself happy. Is this the truth though? Not merely sacrificing your true selves? Do not forego your right to happiness so quickly. I was to provide you true freedom. But it wouldn't be true freedom for the person that you're stealing the heart from, though. Shadow? Oh, shoot. Yeah, it won't take too long anyway. Phantom Thieves, could your true intentions be to harm our master? Should there be any remnants of deceit in your hearts, I shall be the one to find and eliminate it. I don't know why my allies despawn before I swing. Well, like, I'm strong. It's not like it's gonna take that long. You know, position hack. What are we doing? Change cognition in your favor. Whoa! Can I, like, let me your power? Organize you, but I want to hear a story or two. Oh, I guess I already have that one. Um, there's no need for that. Well, that was easy. Well, I'm really glad I just made a quick choice. That saves me a whole bunch of time. Oh yeah, I still have freaking Regent here. Do I need that Belial? Yeah, sure. Bye, Regent. But yeah. Yeah, it's fine it's when it's used properly. <laughs> well, it's used well there. It's a clip where Squidward's lawyer screaming out sniffs cocaine times eight, and that was the whole clip? What? <laughs> So this answer was also wrong according to Dr. Maruki. Maybe because the answer gives the impression of suppressing your desires? Hmm. hmm. Perhaps not wishing for happiness is a problem in and of itself to him. It's too bad we ended up in a fight. But at least we're finished with the questions. Let's switch gears and move on. Hmm. Raul's supposed to be Joker's third form persona? Would make sense. At least I already have Raul here. Said the line eight times. I got gotcha you there. Thank you for your patience. Your examination is now complete. Please proceed to the counseling room so you may attain your happiest, most ideal reality. Huh? huh? Messed up, but we still get to go on. The announcement said the treatment room is up ahead. I'm getting a bad feeling. So, what's my ideal reality gonna be there? A world where I never continue with the uh, world of Fodlin on this channel and everyone forgets that it was a thing that I felt obligated to do? It's all just forgotten about, and everyone thinks that I completed the entire Fodlin saga. And it just remains forgotten, and I get to live happy and forget it. Is that what my ideal reality is there? Something or other? Oh, should I go this way first? For the examination room? Because there's things over here. Eh? What? I can't go down or anything. I'm confused. But yeah. 
Yeah, it must well have been. I wonder if Persona 6 will take as long to make. Well, something like Elder Scrolls 6 or GTA 6 needs to make like a vast open world for you to explore. You know, something like this is more, you know, linear, confined areas. Like there's still a lot of areas to make and stuff like that. And a lot of stuff to go through. You know, duration of a game isn't always directly. Oh, what's the word? Um, what's the word where correlated isn't always directly correlated to, uh, you know, development time. It can depend on a lot of things there. All right, well, through we go.